may have noticed a bright looking star in the night sky just after dusk recently, and it's actually not a star, but rather Venus. Meteorologist Joseph Dames talked with the folks at NASA about why it's so bright right this weekend and why exploring the planet is difficult. Okay, so a lot of things up in the sky yeah, to look at, but we're focusing on Venus. Um, tell me why it's a good weekend for viewing Venus and how we could even do it. So I would encourage everyone to get a chance to go outside this Sunday and look to the horizon as the sun is setting and you'll be able to see Venus shining bright. Um, it's actually really hard to miss because it is the third brightest object in our sky. Yeah, so after the sun and moon is Venus. When we were talking about space a lot, we're referring to Mars or something like that, but we're going the other direction here. Why is Venus um, maybe more similar to Earth than we think it is and what's the differences? Yes, our other next door neighbor, what is so interesting about it? Well, Venus, the planet of love, is actually the hottest planet in our solar system, um, despite being second from the sun. It also has a hellish environment. Uh, it is so hot, its pressures are 90 times anything you can imagine here on Earth, and it's just inhabitable. So exploring our neighboring planet that seems very similar to us, and it, it has a atmosphere and it has a terrain but it, it kind of took a turn somewhere um, and it's often referred to as Earth's evil twin sister so why did it become evil what's its origin story what is NASA's plans to go explore Venus How, how's this all gonna work out then we are planning to launch the da Vinci mission which actually stands for deep atmosphere Venus investigation of noble gases chemistry and imaging and we're going to drop a probe and it's going to descend into the atmosphere over an hour period and it's going to collect a lot of data um, measure some gases on the planet take some pictures as we get closer to the terrain so we're building a, a really strong system to withstand the uh, hot and humid <laughs> temperatures of Venus how do you actually build something that can withstand this type of treatment, I guess? We're using a titanium, which is a pretty strong material, and we're going to encase all of our instruments with ins inside of it um, to protect all of those instruments from the environment. So we're making sure, it's, instead of maybe making our instruments better or stronger, we're just keeping our, our amazing instruments and making them cushy as we can to go into um, to the atmosphere. We also don't expect it to survive past uh, 30 minutes after landing.